How you doing Cali crowd? I'm having to travel for work, nowhere exciting, it's only Birmingham. So I've got myself something to keep me going for the journey and I am a sucker for porridge. The thing about traveling though is that it gives you a lot of time to think and I've been thinking a lot about what I want to achieve in 2022 now that we're coming to the end of 2021. I've been training calisthenics for a while now and I'll be entering my third year of training in this way and you know we're quite big on goals here so I'll give you a sneak peek into what mine are but right now I've got a train to catch. So I've just arrived at the hotel I'll be staying at. It is right next to the gym I'll be going to this evening. But I wanted to take this time to go through my goals, specifically my goals for 2022. Taking a look back at this last year, I'd say it's been relatively successful. I managed to master the back lever in a short space of time. I learned to frog the handstand and I hope to nail the handstand kick up by the end of the year. I've spent most of the latter half of 2021 focusing on developing strength in basic movement patterns and I'm gonna be gunning for even more aggressive goals in 2022, but let's go through what those goals are. Well, circling back to one of my initial goals from way back in 2020, I wanna clean up my muscle up. I basically parked everything to do with the muscle up for the last 18 months, specifically to focus on the handstand. And even though I've come a long way with the handstand, the downside is that my muscle up now has a bit more kip than I'd like. My next goal is that I'd like to be regularly hitting 30 second plus in my handstand holds. That's the threshold where I'd feel I'd have the confidence to start working towards more advanced handstand work. The third goal I'll be gunning for is to achieve the tuck planche. This is something that people on this channel still refuse to believe that I can't do, but I still can't get my head around the tuck planche, try as I might. And finally, we have the biggest challenge of 2022, which will be unlocking the front lever. This is a skill I've wanted to learn for ages, but I've tempered myself to earning the right to do so first. And I think I've done that, but only time will tell. I'll go into the why of my calisthenic skills shopping list in a later vlog and go into why I'm doing it in this particular order. But more on that later, let's head to the gym. So today's session was a push session and I haven't done frog to handstands in a few weeks. So I warmed up with a couple of sets of those. I've been focusing on the handstand kick up. So these did feel a bit rusty, but it was nice to still feel confident doing them despite not having done them for a long time. These were followed by a favorite of mine, pike push-ups. You guys know how much I love on these for overhead pressing. I'm hoping that in the new year, I'll develop these into handstand press-up variations at higher volumes. But for now, these advanced pike push-ups will do. The theme of basic movements kept going with push-ups, standard push-ups. It's funny what really aiming for those controlled slow reps does for the amount of reps that you are able to do. I used to boast about being able to do 30 plus reps of push-ups but now I do them correctly and I can just about string together 12, maybe 15 at a push. And I had a little bit of energy left at the end of this session to do some straight bar dips, any excuse to do a muscle up to be honest really. And then I wrapped up the overall session with some leg raises. But guys, I wanna know what you guys are working on. What goals are you pushing towards in 2022? It is freezing cold here, so I'm gonna head back to the hotel. Until the next one, peace.